Hi everyone, so I thought I would jump on the bandwagon and start doing a monthly favourites video. Um, I know it's only the it's the 4th of October today so forgive me for being a couple of days late of missing September but I've done quite a few videos in the past couple of days so and I hope that I can be forgiven considering it's my first one. So obviously I've got quite a lot of uh, products uh, that I want to show so I'll try and be as quick as possible. So first thing I'm going to start off with is a couple of nail polishes that I got at the beginning of September. So these are the Rimmel ones. So I got an orange one, a pink one, and a a kind of a, a reddish one. This is actually quite a decent red, but for some reason on screen it's showing up kind of pink, which is odd. Um, so the orange one is called Tangerine Queen. Uh, the pink one is called Electric. And this one is, the red one is called Double Decker Red, which is, to be honest, true to the name, it is a double decker kind of red. And if you live in London, you'll know what the double decker buses look like. Um, I've used all three of them. Uh, they last quite a long time. I generally put two coats on for all my nail polishes on top of a base coat. So they do last a really long time, I would say over a week. Then I also got this blue colour, which is from Seventeen, which is by Boots. And then I got another pinkish kind of colour called Pop Rose, from also from Rimmel. It's from their Pro Professional Finish. And it says it lasts up to 10 days, and I would agree. Even and then another two colours I got from the, also from Rimmel, uh, the pro professional finish same as the other one are two colors which are for autumn winter so this one's a gold color called gold infusion it's a beautiful very dark bronzy gold kind of color and then this one is called desire and it is don't think you can tell properly it is a very burgundy color with a shimmer to it so a very kind of a purpley burgundy kind of color and the next product I'm going to go for is this it's called Amy and it is a eye makeup remover from Superdrug and it is relatively new it's called Amy purely for young skin which I find a bit ageist to be honest bright eyes very gentle eye makeup remover and I've got very, very sensitive eyes. Um, as I mentioned in my first tutorial the other day, I actually don't wear mascara anymore because my eyes are so sensitive. I actually put on a little bit yesterday and I've seen a little bit of swelling appearing at the bottom. It's really unfair, but what can you do? So this one is got lots of natural ingredients in it and it's oil free. I do love it. It does leave the eye area a little dry. So I use my face wash afterwards and then tone and moisturize. But I do highly recommend this. Yeah, it's a great product. Uh, it's about 4.49. Another thing that I got was this is a product from Lush called Grease Lightning, which is a tea tree spot treatment. Now I got this free. I think it was maybe at the end of August I got this. Um, basically, you spend something like I think over 20 quid or 30 quid, and you get this free because it's a new product. So um, I actually had a huge spot right underneath my jawline. It's still a little bit there. Last week it was massive. It was like a big monster with like a head attached to it. It was like a second head basically growing out my neck. And I dabbed this on uh, for two, three days and it has gone down dramatically. So I actually do think it is a quite a decent product. I think it, I can't remember how much it is because obviously I got it for free. I'm not sure if it's actually worth the expense in that. It's quite expensive and it's only a teeny little bottle, but I didn't really have to use a lot. And it is full of natural ingredients and Lush products are, in my opinion, quite good, depending on what you use. And I've used a fair amount of their products. Um, I would recommend getting it if you suffer from quite large spots now and then, especially depending on what kind of month, time of month it is. Otherwise, um, I wouldn't rush out to get it just for the hell of it because it is fairly expensive. So that one's up to you. Another product I got was the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I got this on Monday. Now, the woman did a colour swatch on my chin. And this colour is Barcelona. And I've been using this for the past week. I'm using it actually now. And to be honest, I think that this colour itself is still a little bit pale for my skin. Because I get that kind of whitish look. 
I might go back on Monday and see if I can get a tester of another colour but I will keep this because winter's around the corner now and the skin colour will probably get a bit paler so it might be alright then but aside from that I actually love this foundation it's amazing I am a MAC uh, Studio Fix Fluid fanatic and I've been using that for about two years in NC40 I love it I've never tried anything else I heard great reviews about this so I thought I'd give it a go and the consistency is a lot thinner than the Studio Fix Fluid uh, it goes on a lot more um, kind of uh, thinly over the skin but the uh, coverage is equal to that of Studio Fix Fluid and it also feels a lot um, lighter on the skin and as you can see now I mean I've got perfect coverage over my skin now so I do really like it a lot a little goes a long way it is a bit expensive it's 29 pounds but I would definitely highly recommend this I don't know about giving you a glow because I don't see much of a glow other than the shine of the light above my head but um, amazing foundation definitely go out and buy this um, let's see what else uh, this is called the Waitrose Baby Bottom Butter it's got a little baby's bum on it now this was um, in the newspapers in the Daily Mail a couple of months back um, basically women have been using this on their faces I mean this is for baby's bums obviously for nappy rash and whatnot so I picked it up a couple of weeks ago now and I've used a fair amount I mean I've used about a quarter actually a little bit goes a long way because it is a very thick consistency it smells absolutely gorgeous it smells like vanilla I mean the ingredients in it are literally olive oil hydrogenated olive oil chamomile oil and vanilla extract that's it so it is very very greasy but very very natural um, if you suffer from really really dry skin I would highly recommend buying this it's only a couple of pounds like two three pounds and I've been using this for about six weeks and I've only like I said used a quarter less than a quarter to be honest of it I use it before I go to bed I literally slather my face in it I wake up in the morning my skin is lovely and soft I've been using it every single night and don't feel so bad about using baby bum stuff on your face, I don't care. It works, it does the job, and that's all I'm interested in. Uh, another thing that I got was this, uh, um, a foot file. This is from Soap and Glory, which is a brand which is sold in Boots. Now this foot file, this side is, it doesn't really do much, because if I'm putting my finger over it and, and it's fine, it's it's not that good but this side I mean I have to be careful because I just by touching that in the store I scraped the skin off my finger I used it on my foot yesterday and oh my god this is amazing it removes all the hard skin off my feet like effortless, effortlessly so I'm very impressed with this and I accidentally found this the other day there's like a little latch on the bottom of it and I literally just I was pulling at it I was like what the hell is it and I hold on it's got another little file underneath it I mean I'm not really sure what that's for but it's I uh, probably use it for your toes I guess or for if you've got um, hard skin underneath your toes and you can't get to them with this so again highly recommended this is really good really really good um, what else have I got um, it was my birthday last month and I met up with a friend of mine and she bought me this for my birthday which is a Ruby and Millie a decade of colour so it comes in a little pouch it's to celebrate 10 years of Ruby and Millie you open up the little pouch it zips and it's got this inside it which is an eyeshadow quad can you see the colours they are amazing so you get a blue a gold a purple and a green and they're very shimmery colours I've only used the blue one so far and the colour payoff is pretty good um, the glitter doesn't show up as much as I would have liked obviously this is limited edition so if you're lucky enough to be able to get your hands on it now I'd say go for it if not sorry and the last thing I'm going to review is this is high glimmer body glaze in nutmeg and vanilla by the body shop and I'm not actually too keen on the smell of this it smells very it smells like old spicy men's cologne or something 
so this is what it does for you very it will be really really nice for the party season coming up it'll be beautiful what i love about this is that it doesn't leave a greasy residue on your hands or on your body or wherever you're going to apply it it's uh, very thin easily applicable not sticky and it kind of blends into your skin quite easily there you go you can see some of the shimmer on there but i think definitely a little goes a long way with this stuff so again highly recommended the urban decay uh box of shadows book of shadows even volume two so there would be that would be that that's highly recommended i've done a separate video on that so you can view that at your leisure um, so I hope that you enjoyed watching my September product raves reviews video and I will promise to do another one for you next month and I hope you enjoyed my video so take care and have a nice day bye